Hello everyone who may be watching, my name is Cameron and today is July 28th on this great Saturday we have today. And let me first explain why I have been gone out of this scenario, if that's what we could call it. Well I've been in some institution called summer school, which is not what you think. It might be different in your state, but it's different in California because we're all spoiled children in California. Summer school in California is really to get forward in a class so you don't have it next year in high school or, yeah, it's only high school. So basically you can have a free period to go home early and waste your time, play some video games and all that good stuff. But there are some people who did fail and I'm assuring you I might be the one of that failed. But see, all my stuttering results to me going to summer school. I'm just kidding, I'm not stupid. <laughs> so our first news story today is actually Janet Jackson. If none of you heard, Janet Jackson actually disappeared for a few days and it was kind of scary to the whole nation because she's Janet Jackson, come on. A little kid goes missing every day and we are scared about Janet Jackson who's old. Oh. Also if you know, after this incident, Janet Jackson lost the custody of the kids of Michael Jackson since she's the grandma, but she originally got the custody but she lost it because she did this act. But after this came out, Janet Jackson, I don't know how this actually came out. It was, um, she gives the kids of Michael Jackson $70,000 in allowance every single week. Now, is it just me or is that messed up? Like, come on. Come on, audience out there. Come on. I don't have an audience. But if I was getting $70,000 a week, I would be buying Porsches and all this good stuff, air print printers, I would get Mike and Ike's, all that good stuff. But this shows you how spoiled people are when they're celebrities. Like, they're not being raised like they normally should be. They're like in the top 0.04% that gets $70,000 a week as a kid. Like, come on. They're one of the few like Justin Bieber. And yes, I did just make a Justin Bieber joke that he is very young. Sounds like it. And another story that I heard about was that Mitt Romney's supporters, he has a lot of them, I'm guessing they're mostly Mormon. You know what, I'm not gonna make any religious jokes because that's not cool. But Mitt Romney's supporters thought it was a great idea to invest $1 million into radio ads. How great is that, you guys? How great? Come on, <laughs> come on, bring it. Now, if I was going to advertise as a presidential campaign, I would use something called technology today. Like, come on, we have an iPhone, we have Android phones, we have all this, like, social media, and they're not taking advantage of that. They're taking advantage of, mm, a 70 year old radio and god it's not even effective like if i was listening to the radio and heard vote mitt romney vote mitt romney vote mitt romney i would switch it within a half a second that's not because i don't like mitt romney it's just that it's so annoying when you're hearing it it's like when you're on tv you're like i have to stay on the channel to see what happens to the bachelorette I can't miss this. So I just think it's an ineffective way they're spending their money. You know, President Obama got it good. He's using his money on the iPhone. It's the way to go. I think. Okay, this next story is kind of not funny or joking. I don't want to do anything jokey on this story, but if everyone knows about the Colorado shooting that happened with the Dark Knight as walking into the theater and like opening fire in there and hurting some people, hospitalizing some people, I just want to say first of all that it was not funny at all and that I wish the best for the people that are in the hospital and everyone that got hurt or anyone affected by this. But someone in Maryland thought it would be funny to call the cops and tell them that he was the so-called Joker and he had a bunch of guns in his house. Now that is not funny at all. I don't think that's funny. He's just a twisted little... You know what I was going to say. But he has been brought into custody and he is off the streets now for anyone that is watching in Maryland if my videos get that far. So I just hope we don't have any of those people in California because I don't want to be sitting in my house playing my Xbox and I get shot up when I'm playing my Halo 3. I don't want to do that. And our last news story today that I thought was pretty interesting was Bruce Springsteen turned 62 yesterday. All right. So thank you for watching my videos. My name is Cameron and stay subscribed so you can see more videos if you like them. Adios everyone, thank you for watching. I love you all. Peace out.